Right, all right, all right. Let's get that second mask. I think it was this way. Yeah. I don't know what these are. Okay, can't go that way, so we gotta go up. So the big bad in this is the maw, whatever that demon thing is. See the other side of this place. Before stable. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice, that's the guy. list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. Mm. And late, as always. the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. No, that's not it. Not that one either. Okay, so this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is...
Nope. No, that's not it. This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. Okay. Yeah, okay, I got a checkpoint for that. Okay. I got a checkpoint. Jerks. This is... I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of unkillable monsters that just get you in one hit. To a better place, I hope. Hell, anywhere is better than. Oops. Will you just let me pick you up already? Amen. Mr. Berkowitz is being unreasonable to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. Understand they need someone to keep an eye on her, but have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, poor Mr. Tarkowski. Take care of. Still trying to do my best. At least the girl's quiet. Keep to herself mostly. Lights talking to imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations that I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Right. Amen. Time to get back to the day room.
Oh, I can't jump down? Ugh. This place. This is where it started. I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. Poor Mr. Tarkowski, what happened to you? The test came back, no signs of brain trauma or dementia. It looks like sad empty eyes and I have this awful feeling that there's no one looking back. Don't worry my love, I'll take care of you no matter what. I'll make sure you have you can be 400 milligrams of enough Venlafaxine. That'll cheer you right up. Wow. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck that you left? Whoa. I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? This looks like this was a long time ago, but that blood looks fresh. Love you, bolt cutters. Kinda sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. <laughs> Cutter. Or a movie star, like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. She's talking about prawn. Spy name it is. Don't lie, Marianne, we know you watch the porns. Still has a stutter every once in a while. See what sadness wanted me to see. I wonder if I, I turn the. She's all right. I wonder if I turn the DLS off. If, if that'll stop the shenanigans. Oof.
All right. Here we go. Thank God. You're all right. I was so worried. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. Uh, from helplessness. From rage. Rage? Uh, it's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, j just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Hey. Here, have this rotten apple. Okay. Hey. Why don't you tell me something about this place? It, it's the day room. We used to play here. <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he...? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Uh, oh... I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No, don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No! No, Marianne! The sadness! Never no, again! Why did you bring me here? As the plot dictated. It was it. then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Hmm. We're back to split screen, huh? So gross. Mm. Richard? Are you there? A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Thomas have always been stunned by the deathly complexity of his imagination, mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes of his his mind could we, would weave. The way he described them, the every minute detail, it was as if he actually witnessed all of it, as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him to peek beyond the edges of a reality. Really? An angel, a demon, is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my, came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to fuel my waning creativity. But how could I not? They'll let the unique perspective of the bottomless well of inspiration go to waste. That would be an unforgivable sin. Okay. I 
like a sanatorium. Is that what this is? Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Oh. Mm-hmm. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels... incomplete. It's become a habit of ours. We sit down, sketchbook is ready, and then he closes his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye. The horror and splendor of all the world beyond our own. Started as an innocent exercise of imagination, also became a bottomless well of inspiration, and wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed like a bird to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress. Finally, I understood he sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than a madness. Okay, so we gotta find something and put it in the, the globe. A lot of notes around here. I remember the first time I met him working a simple job factory. Or a simple factory job. Wow, reading is hard. Still more, the, more of a boy than a man. Why I constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal? Parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak or... And I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could really tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Mm -hmm. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends. So, sadness's name is Lilian. Spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depths of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter, and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy, rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. So, he started his way to becoming an architect. First, I was rather skeptical, thinking he would be throwing aside greatness for more com competence, mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad he was only want to bring a little bit, bring his visions to life. 
And then he met her. Our paintings legends became few and far between. He no longer needed my help dealing with any demons. Mm-hmm. Jealous much? Okay, that's where I came from. I have no shield. Okay. Really gotta find a key. Ooh, what's that? More music. We got one more piece to find. piano or something somewhere. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. Okay. Okay, I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to go here. Uh oh. I don't go back. Oh, wait. Wait, I think I already looked at that. Yep, yeah, that's the picture of the horsey. I get it.
Oh, okay, I see. Show me a way out of here. Hmm. 